All right, guys, I didn't want to really talk about this, but it looks like I have to. I've been out of the loop for about two months now, maybe three. I can't even remember anymore. It's been a long time. And uh, I feel like I owe it to you guys to tell you what's been going on in my life that's kept me away for so long. I just want to let you know that it's not anything you did. It's, um, it's me. It's not you. It's me. I've been questioning my relationship with this game for quite some time. And um, someone made a comment the other day that just sums it up for me and just kind of blew my mind. And it uh, really put things in, put a lot of things in perspective for me. And I just feel like I need to, I need to share this with you and maybe it'll help me to, uh, to get through it. So um, I'm just going to read this comment to you and uh, here it goes. Um, I really don't understand the infatuation with actual meaningless downtime when I could just get into a fight without needing to tour the map. It's unnecessary. And the fact that Sunbreak made it easier to avoid the mandatory map tour emphasizes even more how unnecessary it was. He is, of course, talking about spirit birds. And, um, this is really, uh, this isn't, this is deep. Okay. Um, actual meaningless downtime. He's got a point. I've been playing this game for thousands of hours and I'm just now realizing how much meaningless downtime there is in this game. That's 60 seconds or less. Sometimes it's less that it takes me to pick up a few spirit birds and, and find my way to the monster. I've done so many quests now, literally thousands of quests, and that adds up. I'm wasting my life here. I'm wasting away my life gathering spirit birds. It's not just the spirit birds, though. I'm not singling them out. It's not just the one thing. Look, think about all the things that you do every time you go on a quest. These are things that I do, too. All right, all these things in the game that we waste our time on, that I, I'm talking about myself. I mean, you have your own take on it, but I realize how many, how many things in this game don't need to be here. So much meaningless downtime. It's not just the spirit birds. Look, there's the traders, the Argosy. How much time do I spend clicking buttons every time I go into my, my little shack on a, on a boat? I live on a houseboat and I click these menus so I can get some honey, or some thunder bugs, flash bugs. Why? Meaningless downtime. Every time I do a quest, I have to gather spirit birds. I don't have to see the traders every quest. It's every six quests. Every sixth quest, I'll have to go in there, but still, it takes time. And then before I go on every single quest, I have to sit down at a table and eat a meal. I have to click buttons and select which meal I want. And then there's a cutscene, which I can skip, but they force me to watch the end of the cutscene. I can't skip it entirely. There's another 15 or 20 seconds of my life wasted. It adds up. I want talismans. I have to go do melding. I have to click through more menus and queue up talisman melds. And then when they're done melding, I have to look at them and analyze them and see if they're worth using or not, or if I should throw them away. Then when I'm on the quest, how much time do I waste on the quest? I need to get some type of material, some, some material to upgrade a weapon or build an armor piece, so I have to break the parts on the monster. That slows things down. More time wasted. It adds maybe another two to three minutes to the quest just because I'm trying to break the back on the monster or cut the tail off when I could just be doing the highest damage by hitting his head or whatever other weak spot there is. So much meaningless downtime. What about buddies? All the time that I've wasted building the most powerful, most helpful cats and dogs to come on the quest with me. When I could be out there fighting the monster instead. Oh, and subquests. Clicking through more menus just so I can get these little spheres to upgrade my armor. So I can have more defense. So I don't have to take as many heal potions when I get hit. Is it worth the trade-off to even bother doing subquests to get spheres when I'm wasting time? doing all that so that I don't have to waste time 
taking healing potions? Why don't I just take the healing potions instead? Which one would save me more time? I don't know anymore. And what about awards? All these awards that you can get. And for what? Just so that you can have a little picture pop up in a blank square on your guild card. Getting crowns, repeating the same quest over and over again to find the biggest or smallest monster. Finding little swords stabbed into the ground on each map. Taking pictures of things as if this were Pokemon Snap. What am I wasting my time on here? And then every week we get new event quests. Quests that mean literally nothing. They don't advance the game at all. They don't add anything to the game. They give us Sonic the Hedgehog gear. I don't even know what a hedgehog is. But all of this pales in comparison to the biggest meaningless downtime that Monster Hunter gives us. All of these little things add up for sure. Spirit birds, terrible waste of my life. I could be doing so much more. I could be studying things. I could be learning a new skill. I could be looking for a job. I could be showering right now, but no, I'm gathering spirit birds. I'm talking to a cat and telling him to bring back bugs and berries. I could be outside enjoying the sunshine right now. All of these little things do add up, but you know what's the worst thing about Monster Hunter that is wasted time? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. It's staring you right in the face. If only you would open your eyes and realize this. That's right. It's the entirety of low rank and high rank. What other game has a hundred plus hour long tutorial? Because that's what low rank and high rank is, right? It's just one extended tutorial. It's completely meaningless in the grand scheme of things. You will never use the low rank and high rank gear that you make for most of the time that you play this game. That's right. You're going to spend a few hours in low rank and a few more in high rank. And the bulk of your time is going to be in master rank. Master rank. They couldn't call it G rank like they used to. They want you to feel special, call you a master. If master rank is the real game, if that's the end game, if that's where you spend most of your time, if that's the goal that you're trying to achieve, then low and high rank are completely useless. They're the biggest, most meaningless downtime this game has. I've been doing a lot of soul searching lately. I realized of the, I don't even dare look at my guild card to see how many hundreds, thousands of hours I put into this game alone. And I realized I've wasted probably the equivalent of an entire year's worth of full-time work on meaningless downtime in this game. And I blame that on Capcom. I blame Capcom for wasting my time, wasting my life away by putting these things in the game simply to make me spend more time playing the game. And I just don't know how to feel about that right now. Capcom, why, why couldn't you just give us what we wanted? Why couldn't you just give us all of the end game gear right at the outset and put the monster in a room and then just give us a door that we can walk through with the end game gear and then just hit the monster a few times? Why couldn't you give us that Capcom? Why did you make us work for it? Why did you waste our lives? Why did you force us to learn how to play your game? Why did you give us so many options? Why did you create the illusion that we were enjoying ourselves? Why couldn't you just load us up on a screen with a monster and tell us to push the A button repeatedly? Let us do this. Why do you make us even move our characters around the screen? Why do you make us think which buttons to press? Why do you force us to try to anticipate a monster's attack? Why do you give the monster so much health? Why does the monster move at all? Why can't I have a quest time of 5.23 seconds so I can get on with the important things in life, like brushing my teeth and washing my hair and trimming my toenails 
and taking out the garbage and feeding the cat, the real life cat. I think you know what I'm talking about. I think you know where I'm coming from. I think you're all feeling the same thing. You just haven't admitted it to yourselves yet. But this this isn't about you. This is about me. And my eyes are open now. I finally understand what the truth is. So you can leave a comment or not. I don't even care. Just don't waste your time. Make it worthwhile. Don't let YouTube do to you what Capcom has done to all of us. I'll see you later. Maybe.